Hey what's up folks Astro here back again and today in this video let's see how to install Windows 11 on Mac OS based iMac or your MacBook so without wasting any further ado let's jump right in. So the very first thing that you want to do is just head over to the first link given in the description which will take you to this page so this is mac.getutm.app so once you're there just click on this download button to download the UTM software to your Mac so it is like uh, 250 MB in terms of size so we'll wait till it's done and as for windows you can head over to the second link given in the description below and come to this page now click on this option called windows for arm i'll open it in a new tab now it will open the windows insider preview download section so make sure that you are logged into your microsoft account and you already have registered for the insider preview downloads and if that's the case then you can find this download button here so i'll click on this option called windows client arm 64 insider preview you can also find the build number here so this is the latest version as of now i'll click on this download button so it will take some time because the size of this uh, vhdx file is almost 9.5 gb so let that download in the background now head back to the same page and you'll need to download another tool called spice guest tools so i'll just click on that as well now click on this download button and it will download the spice guest tools so it is like 137 mb for that matter so let's wait until both of these files are downloaded as you can see both the files have been downloaded now all you have to do is install the utm software using the dmg file that we just downloaded so i'll double click on the utm.dmg file and it will open up the installer now all you have to do is just drag and drop the utm icon into the applications folder as soon as you do that wait for a couple of seconds and open launchpad and you'll probably find the utm icon there there you go now click on the utm icon to launch utm so that we can proceed with our windows 11 installation on mac os i just click on the open button now we have opened utm the next thing that we want to do is to click on the options called create a new virtual machine now click on the option called virtualize now select the operating system as windows since we are installing windows 11 we click on the option called windows now click on the option called import vhdx image and to the bottom you'll find an option called browse just click on it and navigate and find the vhdx file that we just downloaded and click on the open button to select the same once that's done just click on the next button now assign a memory so you can assign any memory of your choice here i'm giving 4 gb and you can also select cpu cores as well for the time being i will leave it for default now click on next next you can set up a shared library so that that library that specific library will be available both on your mac os as well as windows 11 so you can use this library to share files between these two operating systems so you can click on the browse button and select a folder that you would like to use as shared memory and click on the open button now click on next occasionally give if you want you can give that a name like windows 11 and leave everything as it is and just click on the save button so the next thing that you want to do is to just click on the cd slash dvd button and click on the browse button and select the spice guest tools iso file that we downloaded earlier now after selecting the file just click on the open button now click on the play button to launch the windows installer you will have to set up windows as you would normally do and as for the network part just leave it as it is we'll configure it later on now wait for some time and it will open up windows and it will take you to the desktop screen after the installation is done now as you can see in here we have successfully installed windows but the ui looks cluttered and the display resolution is also not correct so in order to fix that all you have to do is just click on the windows file explorer icon from the taskbar and now click on cd drive options which is qemu here you will find the spice guest tools application file all you have to do is double click on it to open up the application a security pop-up might appear just click on yes now click on next to continue i agree and wait for some time for the installation of spice guest tool now as you can see the resolution and the ui has already fixed and it's a final bit is in progress now just click on the reboot now uh, option and click on next and that will restart your uh, virtual emulator which is this um, memo utm so wait for some time and as you can see in here 
we have successfully installed windows 11 on our mac os and everything is working just fine as it should as you can see the internet connectivity is there and is working perfectly let me open microsoft edge browser to see if it's really working so let me configure it for a while okay there you go let me just type in google.com and see if that's working or not and yes that's working internet is working sound is working display and resolution is correct and that's it hope you guys enjoyed this video if yes make sure to subscribe to the channel for similar updates and we'll catch you in the next one